So go for it. Tell us how should we be eating? How should we eat healthy in this new Africa? Okay. Um, first and foremost, I would like to talk about the three main macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and then fats. But to make it easier, um, let me break it down to the food guide pyramid. So you have your carbohydrates as grains. So for example, you have the brown rice over here and you have the whole wheat pasta over here. These are samples of good carbohydrates. You have your proteins, which are like the fish over here. And you also have dairy, which is the milk, semi-skin milk or um, skin powdered milk or powdered <laughs> milk. Um, you also have the fruits and you have the vegetables. So fruits, for example, you have your bananas, you have oranges, you have apples, pineapples, pawpaw, and then you have your vegetables, which are the carrots, the peppers, tomatoes. You have your green veg, which could be kale, spinach, broccoli, bitter leaf, lettuce, cabbage, a whole wide variety. And all these food groups must be incorporated into one's diet to actually lead a true healthy lifestyle. That's what true healthy eating involves, including every food group into your diet. So you have the carbohydrates, must not be eliminated because there's this notion that carbohydrates are bad. Yeah. They are good carbs and they yeah. are bad carbs. Yeah. The good carbs, for example, are the brown rice and the brown whole wheat pasta. You have quinoa, you have oats, you have lentils. And then even some of the natural ones, like the local ones, like the millet. Yes, you, know? you have millet. You have um, guinea corn. Guinea, exactly. You have corn. Yes. So carbohydrates are not bad, but you just have to make sure that you're eating the good ones and not the refined ones. When I talk about the refined ones, I'm talking about things like refined white flour. So say products like donuts. You have your sugary drinks. Biscuits. Yeah, biscuits. Yes. Crackers. Those type of junk food are the bad carbohydrates, which one should try to eliminate. But apart from that, it's important to in incorporate all food groups, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and oil. Okay. Healthy fats, not just random fats. So for example, you have healthy fats such as coconut oil. You also have avocado oil, as opposed to using lard, for example, or as opposed to using um, Palm oil, some type of palm oil actually, okay. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of palm oil that you find on the market is actually saturated with, uh, it's not pure, it's adulterated, not an adult, uh, not okay. adulterated rather. Okay. Yeah. So how should we balance all these different food groups when we eat? How do we do that? Okay, so say for example, I just, I'm not talking about weight loss here, just trying to lead a healthy lifestyle. So as opposed to filling up the plate with, the entire plate with rice, you can kind of portion it. So you can do about 45% carbohydrates, which could be your brown rice or your pasta or your oats. Some people actually blend oats and make it into like... So um, it looks like egg, egg, egg. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then you have, you can fill your, your plate with about another 45 to 50% of vegetables and then the other um, quarter, 20 to 25% of it with protein. So we, I, I've listened to everything you've had to say and I say, okay, I want to eat so healthy. I want to start eating healthy. How do I go about it? Okay. The first step to trying to eat healthy is, like they always say, if you keep healthy food in your house, or if you buy healthy food, you would eat healthy food. So first step is trying to fill your house. Grocery shopping, you must have, always make sure that you have your fruits and vegetables. You must always make sure that you have your whole grains and good carbohydrates. You must also try to incorporate dairy into your diet because calcium is very, very important. Um, other sources of calcium would be typically your sardines. Spinach actually has um, yes. calcium. There are other vegetarian sources of um, calcium. You can also include, like I said, proteins are very, very important. So even fatty fish, very important. What about when we're talking about protein, what about beans? 
Okay, so with beans, beans is actually a fantastic source of protein. However, beans also it contains carbs, carbohydrates. Yes. But a lot of people say, oh, they're going on a strictly protein diet and then they just eat beans saying, oh, it's just protein, no carbs. But it's, it's actually carbs and proteins, a fantastic source of good carbs and an awesome source of protein as well. Okay, good, because I like beans, so that's why I, I want to just make sure of that. So, how do we start, though? Okay, um, the first step to eating healthy, or rather, I'll say the next step, since I've mentioned the first step already, is trying to track your habits with a food journal. Um, one of that the is things, writing down what yes, you're eating. Yeah, writing okay. down what you're eating. One of the things I do on my program is I make my clients keep compulsory food journals. So they write down what they have for breakfast, they write down what they have for lunch, they write down what they have for dinner, they write down exactly what they're snacking on during the course of the day. If they're having any additional drinks, they must put it on the journal as well. And if they're doing any sort of activity, be it cardio, weight, training, whatever it is, must be listed on the journal as well. So that way, we're able to kind of keep track on if they're eating right. And then if anything goes wrong, weight loss wise, or weight gain, or they gain weight, I'm able to know exactly what happened just through keeping track with the food journal. So you're able to look through and reflect um, on your general eating habits. You're able to look through and see whether you've actually had the essential carbohydrates that you need for energy, whether you've had some of the proteins which are very essential, whether you've had your healthy fats, because like I said before, all these things must be incorporated. And the only way you can actually keep track of it is via keeping a food journal. Very, very, very important. I, I so agree. Everything we've talked about now so far, I don't want people to feel like it's going, okay, this is for the shishi people, the elite, okay? Mm -hmm. The average person who's barely making ends meet, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it's pretty much the same, isn't mm -hmm. it? Pretty much the same. For example, people say healthy eating is expensive. Healthy eating is not expensive. If you're trying to, you don't have to eat broccoli and kale. You can do okra. There's Iwedu, there's Ugu. There's so many options we have available on yeah. the market. So yes. healthy eating is not expensive. Trying to buy, get the imported versions is what is what expensive. Is expensive. Yes. Yeah. So